Take a good look at this photo, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it looks like when Rothschild is actually in handcuffs in a courtroom. Martin J. Rothschild, a known lawyer. He's even been on TV. I mean, he's you've seen him around. Uh, somehow or another, he was picked up, and they found... Whoever in the hell was going through his stuff found 1,600 child porn photos. And somehow or another, ladies and gentlemen, he has avoided the sex offenders registry, or at least the public section of that. Now, I don't know the whole shenanigan deal of it, but this guy's been on TV. I've seen him on Various shows, not just documentaries. Syracuse, New York. Disbarred lawyer Martin J. Rothschild will be a level one sex offender when he's released from prison in a few weeks after serving three years for child porn, a judge ruled Tuesday. I'm sorry, today, but this was a couple days ago, so you guys get the idea. That means Rothschild name, photo, address, will not appear in public sex registry when he's released from prison. Only level two and level three offenders are listed on the website. Judge made the decision Tuesday during a hearing. Rothschild, who's still in prison, declined to attend. Rothschild, 63, once a well-known East Syracuse uh, personal injury lawyer, went to prison in 2013 for child porn and posting it on social media, sharing it site Tumblr. Well, that's probably how he got caught. He was charged in connection with 30 images. And today, prosecutor Jeremy Kelly said that Rothschild had over 1,600 images. The statute uses a point system to come up with the suggested rated level. The judge ruled that Rothschild's offenses added up to 80 points, which typically result in level 2 designation and listing on the registry. Uh, but whoever Aloe is, A-L-O-I must be the judge, noted that his ultimate uh, discretion to make the decision, that's when he pointed to the recommendations from the State Board Examination of Sex Offenders and two doctors as evidence the Rothschild rating should be a level one. Under law, Rothschild information will remain a private file for 20 years. He'll be 83 when he's off the list. I don't know if Aloy's the judge or the lawyer he had or the other lawyer, I don't know. While the state cannot list Rothschild's information in the public database, it can confirm he's on the registry if requested by name. This came from Syracuse.com, folks. This came from a news index, folks. 1,600 images. That's amazing. Jesus Christ. If you think about how much an image is nowadays. 1,600 images, ladies and gentlemen. That would mean he probably had a good computer tower full of images, if not multiple. Holy crap. And they only busted him after he put stuff on Tumblr? Yeah, well. Stupid things, stupid prizes. You know, I always tell people, I say, you know, I said things like this being, you know, someone says something or you get busted for an image or two of any number of things. You know, most people when they become 18 they don't delete any of their you know their stuff when they were younger or 
you know, that stuff, if they're still using the same uh, phone number, is still on their phones, among other things, the sexting they did when they were underage and everything else. What people don't know is, you know, legally, if anybody who turns 18, if the police had a grudge against them, they could get you for any image in your possession after the facts. And even if it's off your phone, it's still on the cloud, it's still on the Verizon sites or the uh, Apple sites or any of these iTunes sites or anywhere else. So when you were 15 and you were hot and heavy with, you know, the two or three neighbors and this and that and everything else and you guys were all trading pictures and thought it was fun and y'all turned 18 or one of you turned 18 before the other two or something, this could be you. I mean, it it's a slippery slope. I mean, obviously, 1,600 photos, holy shit, yeah. But, I mean, you know, that shit doesn't just go away when you turn 18. You know, if it's on your, your phone and different things like that. Now, I was lucky not to grow up in a generation where they took photos all the goddamn time. Not to mention I was kind of a nerd, never really got involved in major shit, so... Anything I would have had when I was a minor would have been null and void anyways. Because one, I was a minor, and two, there's no photo. So, But this is something that will actually come back and bite every, uh, you know, every, uh, whatchamacallit, millennial and stuff like that when they turn 18. If they find those images in your phones, folks, and you just turned that age, or you turned it two, three years ago, and you still got it on your phone, they can still charge you with it, folks. That's what I keep telling my uh, nephews and stuff, especially, uh, you know, when they're getting up there in age, you know, if somebody, you know, texts you a boob, a boob uh, pic or something, you go, hey, that's kind of cool, you know. Even if they're at work and they're 30, you know, that can land you on a registry just as quick as, doing an actual act can whether you're a minor an adult whether somebody accidentally sends something or not you know somebody could be texting their person and they could put one or two wrong numbers and it could go to yours and you know if somebody's out looking for revenge, they can go, hey, we just found this on your phone. Explain why. Um, or, you know, this or that. So, Martin J. Rothschild, folks, avoid sex offender registry for 1,600 photos. So, kind of screwy, Dewey. Absolutely screwy, Dewey. Uh, not much I can say, folks. Just one of the good one of the things you need to do is when your kid gets up there in age is start having that talk with them, delete their images and shit. Because if they're ever pulled up at a traffic light or anything else and they ever got to go to county or whatever for any number of infractions and they pull that shit from their phone, which they can legally do if they choose to be complete assholes. Just about anybody can be arrested for anything nowadays. And if they just turned 18, well, that's one thing. But if they didn't delete it off their phone because they just are that fucking lazy or something, you know, that's it. You're done. I mean, not to mention, you know, and a female or a male, whatever you're into, you know, comes out one day and says, well, you know what? I didn't like the time when we were together and are. And that's another reason you're going away. So it's anything and anyone, especially nowadays with the feds, like messing up in the background and everything, everybody always lying and say, oh my God, oh, we're going to make families in prison and shit. Yay. Tell women that don't have enough evidence for an R charge to say they had babies by the dude and to go pop out babies by another dude. And the, the feds will fuck up the uh, DNA. So, the guy spends a year or two behind. I mean, there, there's all sorts of things going on in the background, folks, and it's all just modeling at this point. 
It's just analytics and modeling. They do a point system, and that's your charge. They, they don't give a shit about this or that. They're no longer concerned with facts. You've heard, I have situations against me. I have lawyers. I have investigators. The police do not give a flying fuck to give me that information so that we can take it to a courtroom and get this situation handled because they know that when it goes to court, they have to prove or disprove that the fucking university was the one that's fucking started this shit. And they know that I know those bastards were the one that started this shit. And those bastards expelled me. And sooner or later, I get my piece of paper and I get to look them in the eye and say, fuck you. There's a whole lot of shady shit going on, folks. I guarantee you it, it's coming. But as soon as I get written right, you're goddamn right, I'm going to start a billion dollar lawsuit against every fucker. Because I already know that 2.5 they promised me. They're going to toss my ass probably in psych, and I'm never going to fucking see that money. They're going to claim PTSD, bullying in the background, any number of things. So, this is the world, folks. But luckily, we can see a Rothschild in handcuffs.